Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have um, a pretty simple mixed operations problem here. Um, I've had some people say, oh, I spend too much time on these videos. So um, if you understand this already, then, uh, you know, you don't really have to watch the entire thing um, if you get the right answer. And we're going to jump right into it. Um, but of course, as, as I always like to do, I like to say, if you want to pause the video here, we'll work it out together. Again, the problem is 7 plus 7 times 4 equals what? All right, this one's very simple. Um, if you remember your order of operations, you know that multiplication um, has precedence over addition. Uh, you do the multiplication first. We don't have any parentheses here, but multiplication still has precedence. Uh, so it's 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. So we have 28 down here. 7 plus 28 is 35. So for the people who like to say, well, I spend too much time on this, hey, if you understand that 35 is the answer, you are done. Go, collect, go click on the next YouTube video if you'd like. Um, the remainder of the video is for those who still do not understand the order of operations. And um, I guarantee there's a lot of you out there. I have comments saying that, uh, you know, order of operations is a figment of my imagination, that I've somehow made it up. Um, there's all kinds of comments. And I know there's some people out there um, that I'm never, ever going to get to. There's people out there that have convinced themselves, uh, you know, the earth is flat, whatever. Um, I get it. Uh, the order of operations, anybody could look this stuff up um, rather than make a comment like that. But, um, you know, the remainder of the video is for those who may still not understand the order of operations. And I get it. A lot of people are just used to adding numbers, subtracting numbers, maybe multiplying a couple numbers together. Uh, it's not often. A lot of people are don't use a lot of math where they're mixing addition, multiplication, or subtraction with multiplication and division. Things like that. That's kind of what I've been concentrating on here, uh, just to help uh, drill this in. But uh, some people may be familiar with some different acronyms out there, and these aren't always used. They haven't always been taught. They're just some memorization tools. Um, depending on where you are in the world, uh, there are some acronyms like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, and BIDMAS. They all represent the same thing. Um, these are just some acronyms that were developed uh, in some different English-speaking countries. I know in uh, North America, it's typically PEMDAS, which means just uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Uh, and then uh, BODMAS is as common in the UK, uh, probably some other countries as well. Brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Um, so those are some common things. And what, what, what the attempt by these acronyms is to do is to try to get you to understand what the order is that you want to look at um, different operations. Uh, these also get a lot of people into trouble because they look at these letters and they go, oh, you got to go in this exact order. This is a six-step checklist. And um, that is that is incorrect. Um, you know, PEMDAS and BODMAS give you the same answer. But where people get confused is they see the M and the D and they automatically think, oh, multiplication is before division or with BODMAS, some people think, oh, division comes before multiplication. And I've even seen people go as far as to say, well, you do the addition before the subtraction. Uh, but what, they're not un what they don't understand is that multiplication and division have equal precedence. Addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. So it doesn't matter. You, you could rearrange the M and the D, which, of course, PEMDAS and BODMAS are, have them in different order. It doesn't matter. Um, and, and it could have been done here. You could have had the S before the A, and it makes no difference. Um, you just work those, you work your multiplication and division left to right. Uh, but <clears throat> the main thing I wanted to touch on, too, is that multiplication. Now, in the problem we're looking at, I said multiplication has precedence over addition. Well, it also has you know precedence over subtraction. Um, if you look at multiplication, it's it's nothing more than repeated addition. It's kind of a shorthand way of writing repeated addition. Think of it that way. Um, if we take the problem that we had here, 7 plus 7 times 4, well, 7 times 4 is, is basically saying add up 7 fours. 
it's the same thing. There's no difference. It's a lot easier to write 7 times 4 than it is to add all these numbers, adding them up. But I, I want, what I want to drive home is the point that you can replace the multiplication with equivalent addition. I could uh, have 7, and then instead of the 7 times 4, I could just add all of the 4s. I could add 7 4s. Guess what, guys? You still get 35 as the answer. So um, I just want to drive that home. I do have some links in the video, uh, in the description, um, a little more detail on the order of operations. Um, I've got a lot of other videos with some similar problems, uh, order of operations problems. I do have a few other things uh, out there, quadratic equations, things like that. Um, most of this is, is some fairly simple mathematics, but um, I do see a lot of people struggling with this online and uh, often give wrong answers. Um, you do not solve these left to right. I know there's a lot of people out there that would have added the 7 plus 7 together and gotten 14 and then taken uh, 14 times 4. Uh, that is incorrect. That's not right. Um, and I do see a lot of people out there that will say, well, you know, back when I was taught, we were taught to go left to right or we were taught... Uh, you go left to right unless there's parentheses around the multiplication, and that is not right. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you guys here is multiplication already has priority. You do not need parentheses or brackets around the multiplication. You still solve it first. So um, I hope that's been clear for anybody that's had any confusion, and um, I uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.